Yeah, so I think we are streaming live right now. So everybody, we out here from Fernando, Raymond is here, myself, and I got Dinesh as well. And uh, we're going to talk about your SEO and expired domains, cover up you any topics that you have around the top, uh, the subject and answer any questions that you may have. So you can live ask the questions. I'm going to ask any qu questions as you are asking it when the uh, Dinesh is talking. So we're going to take all the questions. We're going to cover up things like SEO, expired domain, show some example uh, of expired domains, how we use them, build them, growth of it. We're going to show the href, the traffic generation, what kind of things we do. And then you can ask any things that you want to be covered. So we will be sharing with you anything that you want to know. So. Dinesh, let's let's show them that in the end that yeah. we're going to cover and then ask the people, you know. Yeah. So hello everyone, and today in this video, just we are, we are going to speak about like how you can build the uh, proper blogging website or even a business website from the uh, expired domain. So uh, in this video, if you have any questions related to expired domain or uh, SEO, you can just drop your questions in the comments, and we will be answering everyone everything. And let's get into this topic directly. So uh, if you are into the SEO field or backlinking field. The ideal thing you will look for is that hunt, expired domain hunting. So the better domain you find, the better way you can build the website. So in this video, I'm going to show you like what are the things you need to look for uh, before uh, picking an expired domain. So these are the short uh, points which I have for you. Like first thing you need to check is that domain agent authority. So though, even though it's like a quite important factor, you should make sure like it, it has at least uh domain authority of 15 to 20 at least so at least you can have something to work with and uh, build with or else it's like a new domain if you go go below like a da of 10 it's not going to work anyway so just try to uh, choose the domain with uh, decent authority and at the same time domain age the second the first thing before checking everything you need to check the spam score because even if the website has the domain authority of 70 and if it has a spam score there is then there is no point of uh, registering and building it so ensure that, uh, that there is no spam score in the domain which you are going to register so these are the first two things the next thing is the archive data so uh, so first you you need to confirm that the domain we will, we will also show them the nature right? some of yeah. the thing of expired domain also if people want we can actually run a show of how we actually go about finding the expired domain so guys like so if, unless questions come we're going to keep on following uh, flowing about the expired domain topic because as you guys know in the SEO, expired domains is a big thing. You can use for money sites, you can use to build PBNs, blog networks, which is called that you can use. So this is a blog grow, one of the expired domains so this that is the, we found. Yeah. So this is the expired domain, which we have uh, registered recently, like uh, one month back and we have built it. So let me show you the things, how, why I have picked this domain. First thing before registering, what I have checked is that either it has like a good DA and without any spam score. So for the, that's the first and foremost thing I have checked. So as I have checked, like, Domain authority is really, really good. It's 33 and there is no spam score. So that's the reason uh, I have uh, worked, like I have chose this domain as a first point. Second point is that checking the archive data. Like uh, as mentioned in this presentation, uh, check the domain history. Check like whether the domain is uh, used in a proper way by the previous owner. So for that, you can just go to archive.org and uh, you can just drop the same URL and take the past history of the domain. So make sure like there is no illegal content like illegal in the sense irrelevant contents in the uh, domain previously so make sure like uh, it's quite relevant like previous owner has used it in a proper way so without spamming the web so if it is properly used previously then there is a point you have you are picking this domain and building it in a proper uh, uh, asset so it, it will work very well so i'm just uh, going to check like what's the old data we have so it's not picking up so let me yeah so it's like just a uh, normal sites about dogs. So like uh, dogs and the blog. So uh, it's literally literally a pet related domain. So it's not bad, like not bad contents are there. So it's quite good. So uh, we have cleared the first three points. So domain authority is good. Spam score is fine. And the archive data is fine. So final thing is that check the backlink data and uh, the anchor text from where we, the links are coming from. So for that, you need to check the uh, this one ahref is the best tool which we are focusing on to get the check the backlink data so when it comes to backlink from the overview you can check like uh, 283 referring domains are giving this much backlinks so ensure like the referring domains are quite high authority so when we look into this uh, backlink profile 
you can see like we are really having good uh, authoritative links like wikipedia links uh, link from ink.com french base like these links are really powerful one so it's uh, it's really good to uh, have this domain so next is backlinks so these are the referring domains so next uh, so let me go back to the ppt so in this ppt uh, in this uh, points i have covered the first four points right like we are uh, fine with the domain authority we are fine with the spam score since it's uh, not there we are fine with the domain history and we are fine with the referring domains final thing you need to check is the anchor text from which we are getting the backlinks so if it is uh, naked urls or the domain name or a branded name then it's highly positive so when we took the blogrover.com you can see like anchor text is purely from branded anchors on the uh, naked url anchor so it's really really positive so we have covered all the things so now that this domain is fine to register and build it so that's what we built so also the one more thing which i need to uh, tell you is that the people who are watching is not easy to get such high authority domain uh, a high authority expired domain so this domain has authority of 33 actually i have actioned like for more than one and a half hours in uh, domain register site and i bought this domain so you need to spend more uh, time and efforts to uh, find this domain because it's worth it so uh, that's it actually yeah dinesh like this to let me drop something because uh, how we, we actually covered many tools if you want to see on the into youtube channel you can watch it how we actually covered several videos how you use tools to find expired domains in detail how we go about finding exactly live domain finding We've done bunch of videos even on my facebook profile you, you guys can see that it is about finding process and how we do the evaluation and also how we go about registering it yeah so these are the steps so ideally if you are planning to register a new term new domain just keep this five rules as a thumb rules so if you are clearing or if you are putting green tick to all these five rules then you are fine to register a domain so that's the uh, first thing uh, like as a uh, new new one to if you are new one to seo field or if you are already into the seo field these are the some basic things uh, which you need to keep in mind while registering a new domain so now i am going to show you like how we have built this blogrover.com and how it's already picking up in ranks google ranks so let me get uh, show some live stats so these are the backlink data uh, like these are the backlink data of the blogrover.com referring domains like i mean we are getting wikipedia links dot links from ink.com frenchbaseblogs.com many more good links are there so now i am going to show you how we build it actually so we have invested a lot of uh, thing on content because the better you invest in the more you invest in good quality content the more it will perform better on google so that's the uh, seo uh, uh, criteria which you should focus on because you go nowadays, the, uh, yeah. Dinesh, just to express somebody's asking about how to check google penalty of an expired domain we explained it we covered it but Dinesh can give a little drop so now answer for that one so that yeah the, there's a simple thing if you are checking whether the domain is uh, penalized by google or not just check the spam score first of all so if there is no spam score then uh, really it's a green signal to uh, to that domain so if it has spam score then it may be having some bad backlinks some irrelevant linking resources maybe some irrelevant content or the content which google doesn't like maybe like penalized copied content uh, maybe because the previous owner if he is publishing copied contents anyway it's already uh, going to devalued by google so uh, just give importance to the spam score at the same time check the domain history because the domain history by when you check using the uh, archive data it will show everything right from the uh, time of domain registration till date what the domain has uh, published like what the domain owner has used that website for so everything you will uh, you can get from this uh, blog row sorry archive data so give uh, just focus on these two things so once you once you are fine with these two things for a particular domain then you can just register the domain and uh, install wordpress so at the say, second day you can see like once you you properly integrate search console the blog will be immediately indexed yeah so that's actually one thing other thing uh, as ginish also mentioned look at the backlink profile you know if i see a backlink profile which has nasty toxic domains and also anchors are like really like hitting at a one particular keyword and coming with very low quality sites and all I, I mean, I know it's penalized. That's why the owner dropped it. I wouldn't really go at it. If the backlink profile is bad, you look at the spam score, you look at the history, you get a good idea what sort of content and things are there on the site. And then you click at the backlink profile and the linking sites. And if it is bad, that's a, that's a penalized site. That's the, that's the reason that the person dropped it. So that's how yeah. you will never go there and move off with it. 
because there is no point in working on penalized domain it will not pick up any time so it always good to invest time on finding the right domain so that's how we build this domain so within like one and a half months time it's already ranking for many keywords let me show you the live example like the people users who are watching like you can see like it's already coming nicely for uh, some of the keywords but we have put a lot of efforts on publishing these blogs we have yeah. invested in contents we have invested time in publishing it properly with proper on pages you even uh, in our click do limited youtube channel we have shared everything in a live video we have shown how how we have published this blog uh, with the proper on pages you right from the scratch how we build this uh, blog so everything we uh, we have it in our clickdo youtube channel so you can anyone can uh, just have a look at it if they if you are interested in so this blog is already ranking for uh, coming up for not in the first page literally but it's come because it's a very quick time we have just made this blog live like one month back so within one month time we are uh, seeing such results in front of us like uh, giving uh, improvements in the main keywords so this is how like this is the power of the expert expert domain this is the value that the expert domain brings us as a blogger as a business people yeah yeah that's the thing so so you all can see and the power of expert that we've been using it i myself using it for years now since on the days of me starting and doing seo i'll be using expired i mean this is one example dinesh can actually also show some example like uh, we, we have many blogs like uh, entrepreneur's journey and all those blogs yeah, we, we we're building them we have covered all those things on the click to youtube channel if you want to watch it to to how to find it how we build it we, have, we showed in the videos about how we how we publish content as well so you get a good idea about the publishing procedure how we get unique content how we put the images how also we optimize it so new support which one is it blog blog is blog is support, right? next we have to get even uh other 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 few of the sites as well right so so this is a caliber of a site you you guys can literally visit this blog or site uh if you if you've seen the video and to get an idea how we utilize an expired domain build the site that's already climbing towards going on a massive traffic thing because as soon as it rank for this uber like this top term which is like list is it rank however it's going to traffic is going to come when traffic passes on thousand plus it yeah. open up opportunities like uh yes posting yeah, like services, in, many obviously in next two weeks we will uh we can expect some more organic traffics and from the next day it will open up for guest post opportunities yeah and somebody is saying indexing indexing is really a problem nowadays even fresh domains are taking more than two days to get indexed i mean i it was there a little bit maybe but i think if you put proper content it get indexed our sites get indexed in seconds really yeah because is since any, this is a google news upload if you publish yeah. a blog it will be indexed no he's actually fine. telling about when you are put up a expired domain Dude, okay this is how you actually do it like uh, so this guy asking so you had to put amazing content you had to put proper content images optimized you had to submit it to webmaster tools we showed it even premiums we submit to webmaster tools right then you get index really you have submit a site map you put at least three not three even five yeah. articles and then only you go and submit a lot of people will put up expired domain and install wordpress and they're like oh my domain is indexed why would google index google should never index those kind of domain yes right? just so integrate the search console properly uh we showed it on a video right yeah so we, have, we have the videos we have shown if you go to the uh, clean youtube channel you can see that how we integrate the search console and then submit the site map and everything and it get indexed so guys that's how you get it a lot of people who say sites doesn't get indexed and takes time is basically publishing low quality content and the worst thing they have yeah. less content they don't have images they don't have youtube videos they don't have unique content actually to add value because if you that's put true. up another review site review about like another million sites already doing Yeah. Google is going to really think why why would you why would the bots index this? So you have yeah, because a compelling reason. Yeah. Let me show you one example. So this content we have published, it's already coming up in Google. So the reason it's already coming up in Google is that we have put lot of efforts in publishing. We have tab a table of contents. Even we have created custom infographic for this page. We have already published that. Even uh, like this is two thousand like thousand word plus word content with infographic with table of contents. Even we are planning to add FAQ as well in the very soon. so this is how like google values the website particularly yeah that's the thing guys you can see this is an example of a site how we use it so this is the same principle that we use when we are building a normal wordpress website normal website that we want to launch into the, to the web a lot of people are in a hurry to publish low quality websites because they just want to rank it ah 
it's not going to happen anytime. It's going to really get go down and down. Things are going to get harder. So yeah. if you want to have a chance, you want to really have amazing content, have a unique reason for the web, saying my website is pretty unique and I need a chance to rank it and get traffic. So that's the principle. If anybody thinking like, I want to get my, my set index. So that's how we do it. That's how we build any website, a personal website, a business website, a blog, a PBN, SEO related websites or anything, you know, so that's yeah. the principle of how we go about building that. Bar. So that's pretty much covered guys. If you have any questions, you can ask it. If not, we're going to make it quick this session. We, we, we want to literally come live and see if anybody has live questions and want yeah, to ask you are not yeah. click the youtube channel we have all resources like we have explained everything literally in live and uploaded there so uh you even you can find our previous sessions about the expert domains at click the channel yeah so you have any channels and if you even after the session want to drive drop any any in questions below me and dinesh will answer you so uh we we can answer you any questions you may have so it's it's good short session want to talk about expired domains keep it about seo and uh, we'll have a lot of other videos on the click do channel follow us connect with us ask me on facebook as well i do a lot of uh, live sessions with dinesh on my facebook profile so um, thanks for listening guys